Good evening. I had somebody find my blog by searching for how to clean a corn cob pipe. So I googled it and didn't find a whole lot else on there. So I thought, well, I'm gonna go ahead and I'll uh, I'll write a blog post about how to clean how I clean my corn cob pipes. The thing is, is that uh, I tried to write a blog post about it and. I just got that it was just a really short little blog post and I thought you know I think this would make a much better video than a blog post so I set up my little video camera here and I'm gonna do a little video how I clean my corn cobs now of course I'm not an expert or anything of the sort but this is what I do after I smoke have a nice smoke uh, this is Missouri Meerschaum diplomat I smoked earlier today after I finish smoking, I set it aside and I let it cool completely. Um, I don't want to damage any of my corn cobs. Not that there's a lot to damage on a corn cob, but I don't want to damage them. And uh, right after you're done smoking, a lot of times, you know, you can't get the stem apart or whatnot. So anyway, I let it cool completely. Then I get out my trusty old pipe cleaners. These are just the standard pipe cleaner you buy at any little cigarette shop or grocery store or whatever. Now what I do is I just take the pipe cleaner and this is why I kind of, this is one of the main reasons I kind of prefer straight pipes. I just run it straight down the pipe stem and a mouthpiece in there and I run it around. I make it go all the way into the bowl. Can't really see that. But anyway, I just run it around the stem and shank there and then I kind of come out and then I do the mouthpiece just a little bit. And then, I know a lot of people, they don't touch the bowl at all, but what I've been doing is I fold the pipe cleaner in half, just give it a little bit more backbone, because they're kind of they're kind of flimsy. And then I just take it, and I just kind of scrub around the outside of the bowl here, like that. And I just clean off the stuff, and you know any extra any extra soot or tobacco or whatever and I just you know I just I don't I don't go to town too terrible on it I just I just kinda keep it clean and I've been doing this for almost a year now and what results is it just a nice see if you can see that I don't know it's just a real nice thin very thin layer of cake in there and uh, it just uh that's just it's what it was it's what works for me so uh, one time I had this pipe kind of go sour on me had kind of a nasty funky taste and smell to it and uh, that time I got one of those little tiny bottles of Everclear at the liquor store and I dipped the dip the uh, pipe cleaner in the Everclear and, and used that to clean out the shank now everybody I've talked to said not to touch the inside of the bowl with the liquor but so I didn't do that. I just did the inside of the stem and the shank and then let it set for several days and it was good as new. No more funky, sour, whatever the heck that was. So anyway, uh, real quick, simple, easy. That's how I clean my corn cobs. See you later.